Okay, here you can see the uh, methanol recovery unit, which is just a uh, smaller water heater than the processor. And I've got a tube connecting from the processor over to the uh, methanol recovery unit with the glycerin in it. I've already transferred the glycerin over, so uh, I've got 40 gallons of glycerin here. It's almost, it's a 47 gallon water heater. Um, here you can see the wiring. I've just basically bypassed the thermostat, actually removed the thermostat on the upper, and then completely bypassed it on the lower, so I'm wired directly to the element. And then the unit is controlled by plugging it into the router control. And right now I've got it uh, at about half power, so it's generating uh, around 600 watts. And the temperature is a little warm. It's 183, 185, because I forgot to have the air bubblers on for a while. But um, I've got an air bubbler bubbling in the bottom. You might actually hear the bubbling going on. That's a check valve, a one-way check valve, bubbling the air in through an aquarium bubbler. I'm just holding it close so you can hear the bubbling. Um, I, I ran it at full power until it got to be about 155 degrees, and then I plugged it into this router control, which is just a variac to uh, control the power, since I, don't, I have it wired directly to the thermostat. You need to reduce the power. And there is my bubbler. I got the most powerful one I could get from the fish store. I'm also blowing some air in through the top. This is a funky arrangement because I was unable to thread into that port, so I, I threaded this plastic valve into that, and I've got a hole in it um, that I'm pumping the air into. That way I can push the air, the methanol vapors through the uh, condenser, which is a 12-volt uh, heater core, and it's condensing down into my methoxide tank, which I can also pump methanol into. Um, right now I've just got recovered methanol in it. Uh, I don't know if you can see it dripping, but got methanol, recovered methanol dripping right now. Um, there's also a uh, hydrometer in there to give me the percent purity, and uh, it looks like it's actually sitting on the bottom a little bit so it's not giving me a good reading but when I get up to a few more gallons um, you can just read the percent purity right on the hydrometer and that's about it you can also pour the glycerin in the top which I do actually as I uh, condense out methanol and the volume goes down I add some more glycerin on the top